All right, just getting ready to uh, pop the soundboard out of this piano. I have all the measurements taken. I have everything uh, freed up that's holding it in, the screws out of the bind bar, the dowels out of the rim, the molding off. And just gathered together the implements of destruction here. Um, I start with just a simple one of these and go around and hit the ribs to free up the tail where you can get to it. And then this tool, I, I shouldn't call this a tool, but this stick goes in here and just levers, levers out the ribs where you can't get to them. And the tail, take, take the tail out first and then, and then pull it this way. Try not to scratch the case. The problem is with a nice wood case like this, the soundboard fits perfectly inside of it. It's hard to do that slowly so not to scratch the case. But also the soundboard grain on a, on a piano soundboard rises this way. So it should pull off completely off the belly rail without, without damaging the belly rail at all. And all right, just one last thing that I, I wanted to rant about. Even the, these lowly screws on something like the bell, I see these messed up all the time, and these were fine. And if you do this kind of stuff, get yourself a bit like this and file a profile on it so it fits perfectly in here. These, these and the plate, why, why mess up these screws? Don't do it. I can buy new ones, but... I don't want to. So anyway, I'm not going to show taking out the soundboard. Some of our more sensitive viewers, Dave, I'm thinking about you, uh, may find this too violent to watch. So I will show it afterwards. It's really not nothing. And in fact, being a soundboard, it actually makes a huge racket taking it out. So you don't want to see this. Bye for now.